I'm Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor as qualifying group one begins their fourth event, the squat lift. The strong men will have 60 seconds to squat and lift a ridiculous 700 pounds. Now this can be a dangerous event as it's very hard on the groin, knees, and the legs. We are located on the Moana Golf Course. Not sure I've ever seen a squat lift of cartoonish proportions in the middle of a golf course. <laughs> well, let me tell you what, speaking of cartoons, one of the things you'll notice about this event is the thick bar. There are no ball bearings like you would normally see in a conventional gym, so not only do these guys have to lift it, they also have to keep that immense weight steady. Luke Stoltman tied in fourth with Mark Felix after three events. He's an offshore surveyor on oil rigs, working 14 to 16 hours a day. And squat! You'll see the squat. uneven bounce there. It's very critical that these strongmen keep the weight even because when the weight starts to shift, just like it did there for Stoltman, it becomes too much for one of your legs. One rep, and that's it for Stoltman of Great Britain. Yeah, you see the bounce, the left side of the weight hits first for him and then the right, and you see the angle of the bar across his shoulders just puts too much pressure on his right leg. So the 31-year-old, 6'3", 317, making his first World's Strongest Man appearance in event four, somewhat disappointing. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big box one welcome from Great Britain, Mark Felix! So here's the 50-year-old. Mark Felix tied for fourth after three events. In time, Keep in mind, in this event, Aaron, you've got to touch both sides okay. of the bar for it to count as a rep. And when you have 700 pounds across your shoulder made out of metal, you see that wobble right there. Mark Felix, just like we saw Stoltman before him, gets off balance and it proves too much. That's it, I'm so, very disappointing for Felix. He looks to be okay. When you're lifting 700 pounds, it's so important on the descent that you do it under control and even. Because when you don't, this is the result. You have too much of that weight on one of your legs, and it's just impossible to continue to lift it vertically. Now, Felix is typically better at this event. So, here's Johannes Arsho, tied in second with Matthias Belshuk after three events. See Arsho there trying to get his mind right. The strong men, it's very oh! important for them to place this bar perfectly and get the right height and the right fit before they ever even back out of the safety apparatus. The number to beat is one rep. Looking heavy for him already before he's attempted his first rep. There's a clean first rep. Little pause down there at the bottom, but he's recovering nicely, looking strong. That third one, oh! Grabbing the inner part of his right thigh in that groin area. So he moves into the lead with three reps, but the bigger oh. issue here is he slams the hat down would be that groin. The squat lift, like most of the events here in the strong man, will find the weak points in your training. And clearly, Arsho having a problem on the upper inside edge in that groin area of his right leg. He was looking good prior to that, too, Brent. Phenomenal work to capture that story by our camera crew. And this is a developing story. He got off to a great start. He leads in this event. But you can see him getting help from the trainers. Injuries are an unfortunate reality of this sport, like many sports. But what's also a reality is how strong and tough these guys are. It'll be interesting to see if our show can recover. The 31 year old from Sweden will limp away after getting three reps with a groin injury.